Hello, Johnny here. Welcome to Johnny Tiger's Excellent Northern Adventures. Today's objective, to find and photograph carnivorous plants. The three species we'll be targeting will be the pitcher plant and the two species of sundew plant, the uh, round leaf and the spatula leaf. So uh, without further ado, let's get going. Do not try this at home, folks. No, of course, if you're at home, you wouldn't be trying this. I'm walking on sphagnum moss. You've got to watch the holes in between because they're floating sedges and mats. You could drop down into 20 feet of water. Research sphagnum bugs. Look at a cross section of a sphagnum bugs. You'll see what I mean. Anyways, let's have some fun. Pitcher plants right in front of me. Carnivorous plants. Always remember the fly dope. Always. Anyways, folks, right here. Pitcher plants, these are fly eaters. Insect eaters, whatever falls into pitchers. As you can see, they're pretty dry. Anyways, let's take a look at them with some photos. Look at them all, holy cow, look at their flower stalks, how high they are. That's to make sure the pollinator doesn't get drawn into the pitchers. Nature takes care of its own, people. This is the sphagnum moss they live in. Live sphagnum moss, when compressed, it uh, is known as peat moss. So here we have the pitchers. As you can see, some are green, those are the newer growths, and some are red veined, and others will go completely red. As you can see here, hopefully you can see that. So I'm standing on the edge of a bog, which has been, prob this is probably glacial, a result of glaciation. This bowl, I don't know if you can see that, but this bowl, shaped lake is a bog it's not a lake it's it's a bog no water comes in or out except for uh, rain and snow melt and so it fills in from the sides outwards it takes about 10,000 years to fill it completely then it'll be an overgrown bog you can walk on but I wouldn't recommend it not for at least another 5,000 years after that anyways let's take another look at these things You can see the rainwater in there, whatever's left of the precipitation, combined with enzymes, will help digest whatever falls in. You can see, hopefully, the downward pointing hairs that will prevent anything from crawling out. But it's easy for the fly or whatever in, in, uh, creature to fall in. What a marvel. Carnivorous plants. Uh, the pitcher plant, I think its uh, scientific name is uh, Saracenia purpurea. Even the name rocks. You can see something here, as you can see right there, there's the flower. It's hard to focus. When you're getting eaten by a million bugs, there you go, there's a fly, a victim, slowly. Slowly getting intoxicated and falling in. Wow, cool stuff, man. The bugs! Unreal. So here we are, look at this, we're on the edge of the water, so you gotta watch these mats, like there's holes. I, fall, I fell into one once before. Oh, check that out. Great blue heron. Isn't that awesome? Must have disturbed him. Sorry, buddy. Ah, he'll find another place. There's room for everyone. So, you do not want to fall in in the holes. It happened once before. It was Canada Day, believe it or not, I think of 20, 2009. I'm a bog person. Preserved for millennia. Remember, leave nothing but footprints, take nothing but photographs. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? So these plants like an environment which is low in nitrogen. You can't plant these in your garden, so don't try to take them home. Leave them here. Come visit them. You know, I'm also looking for round leaf sundews. They grow in sphagnum moss as well, but I haven't seen any. So we got more coming up. So stick around. Check it out. Check out these flowers. It's like you're in another world. Again, they grow a long stalk. The pictures are here. They grow a long stalk. 
to ensure that the pollinator, the bee, doesn't get caught in the pitchers. Lord in. There's one of those holes I told you about. Sometimes they're a little wider. I fell into one that was just about the size of my body and I grabbed the shrub. It was hidden by shrubs like that. So you got to watch when you're walking in that scrub too. There are holes and they can go down pretty deep because there's not a substrate of soil underneath me. It's sphagnum, live sphagnum on top of thousands of years of peat moss. It's floating actually. You can actually make this whole thing quake if you so desire. Look at this beautiful place, man. Wow. Well, the bog is dry. If a bog is dry, you know the bush is dry. Because these, uh, this live sphagnum moss holds a lot of water. They're usually very soggy, and my feet are still fairly dry. So, anyways, found a round leaf sundew. It's a very small one. They are, they're all pretty small, but anyways, nice to see. I believe that's the round leaf. Yeah, right there. See that? Say hi. Another insect eating plant. A little. The little palm-shaped fingers, or hands, have the little hairs that look with little drops of what looks like dew. The insect thinks it's dew, gets on there, and it's really glue, and then slowly the, the leaf will close up around the insect and devour it over the next day or so. Get some, I'll try to get some macros. The mother all pitcher plants. Look at this one. Holy cow. So they eat insects. They're good. I saw a couple slugs down there. Wish they'd eat some of these mosquitoes. I gotta get out of here. Ah! Run! Wow. The bugs. Folks, when I'm not playing music, I'm hiking. I'm a hikeaholic. Look at these rocks. It's amazing. That one. Here's another example of a sphagnum bog, a pure bog, as opposed to a fen, marsh, or pond. Low in nitrogen content, but uh, that's why you have these unique plants here. Okay, now this one here is a floating mat. In the center, it's surrounded by a moat. It goes right around it, so these are a little bit tougher to access. I don't recommend it if you don't know what you're doing, but I see one pitcher plant from here. There you go. See that? I know it's only rock and roll, but I like it. Moose tracks. Perfect habitat, perfect crossing. Back there I saw some lynx scat, so we know there's lynx in the area. We know there's moose. And there's a tiger too. Where? Somewhere, over there, look. The earth is flat. So earlier we photographed, we found and photographed pitcher plants and round leaf sundews. Now we're going to look at the spatula leaf sundew.
a bunch more round leaf sundews here by this beautiful lake. Wow. And spatula leaf close by. As you can see, these plants like to live in uh, areas of poor nutrient uh, content, specifically nitrogen. They make it up in the insects that they trap. So cool. Look at this. Wow. Serenity. One more stop on the carnivorous plant tour. Boy, the bugs are bad. I should have used the fly dope, but I'm being stubborn, of course. One more stop. I've been checking on this spot for over 10 years and the plants, specifically the pitcher plant here, grows outside of its usual environment or ecosystem. You'll see. Um, usually they're in peat moss or live sphagnum moss, I should say. Very wet environments. Take a look at this one. Let's go. As you can see, a very dry substrate of gravel. Spatula leaf sundews, all those red tinges are the spatula leaf sundews, and look at that. They've propagated in, in the last 10 years. It's a secret spot. So don't tell anyone. Let's get a closer look. Ten years ago there was one. Now it's reseeded itself there, here, there. Look at this one. And this one. Isn't she lovely? So I call this place a little bit of an anomaly. I found these by accident while hiking about 10, 12 years ago. This is a fairly dry area. It's not sphagnum moss, it's mucky in here, so it's like peat moss. It's kind of a waste area, some might consider, but uh, these plants seem to like it. Look at these beauties. Our uh, friends, because they eat insects. Boy, I wish they could do a number on these mosquitoes and black flies. Okay, folks, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. The bugs sure did. I know I should have sprayed, but... Oh, it's raining. Guess that's big enough to be a rain cloud. Rain will be welcome up here in the northern land. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this adventure as much as I did. And hope to see you next time. Tiger out. taking a bath and afterbite. See you next time.